I'm Holly Clegg and you're in my trim and terrific kitchen. For today's rush hour recipe, we're going to do crawfish etouffee. When you think of Louisiana, you think of crawfish. And it makes sense because Louisiana produces over 90% of the crawfish. And that's why we have the best of crawfish you could find. So wherever you are, when you're making crawfish etouffee, you want to make sure it says Louisiana crawfish. Now, to get started with etouffee, which actually means smothered, we're going to start with a little olive oil and a little flour. And in Louisiana terms, this is called a roux, but basically it's just a thickening agent and we're gonna sort of cook our flour and we're gonna do this, it takes about six to eight minutes till it turns a peanut butter color. A lot of Louisiana recipes have a bad rap. They're high in calories and fat and take hours to make. Not with me, you know, we're into rush hour recipes. All my Louisiana recipes, I'm gonna give you the quick version and it's gonna be healthier for you. So let's stir and get this, our roux, as we know, in my game, it's a mixture of flour and olive oil. We're just gonna stir it. It looks perfect, it's like a peanut butter color and actually I think it just took about five minutes. So now we're gonna add some green pepper and some onion. Oh, it smells so good. That's why that nutty flavor and color is gonna be in our etouffee, and we're just gonna saute this, and of course, garlic. Oh, and we're just gonna saute this till it gets tender, another two or three minutes. And now, we're gonna gradually add some chicken broth. And I just use the kind in the can. You wanna add it gradually, and you'll see. Oh, this smells so good. Now, you see how long this is taking? Simple to make. All right, we're just gonna gradually add it because you want your flour in all mixed in. And this serves as your thickening agent. We're gonna let it come back to a boil and cook for a few minutes. And then we're gonna add a little paprika. And now this just has to cook. All right, look, it's already starting to thicken. Now, remember I told you you can use Louisiana crawfish year round. You wanna look for them and they freeze up to a year in your freezer. So. When I'm in the mood for crawfish etouffee, I can go to my cre freezer if it's not when crawfish is in season. So this is already thickened, it comes together so nicely. And then we're gonna add our Louisiana crawfish. And I have rinsed and drained them. Oh. My kids beg for crawfish etouffee. And in fact, recently I was at a party and somebody came up to me and they said, we love your crawfish etouffee because it is so simple to make. So hopefully, we're gonna let this simmer just for about 10 to 15 minutes, about 10 minutes is all it needs because crawfish is already cooked. So now, no matter where you are, you can make crawfish etouffee Louisiana style in your own house. We're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna sprinkle with green onions and we are done. Oh yes, look at this great color. We're just gonna toss in some green onions and we are finished, ready to serve over some rice. There's crawfish etouffee, a great rush hour recipe, only 10 ingredients made with Louisiana crawfish. And if you're like me, you love Louisiana food, so I wanted to share with you my Louisiana cookbook. It has all your favorite Louisiana Southern recipes, but I've made them trim and terrific. So everything's healthier and of course easy, because if you cook with me, you stay healthy, and it's always about rush hour recipes. See you in the kitchen. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing beats the Louisiana crawfish etouffee. For this recipe and a discount code for all my cookbooks, just check the link below.